morning, everyone. Um, uh, my name is Suzanne Chang. I'm the Director of Neuro-Oncology at UCSF and co-director of the Neuro-Oncology Caregiver Program um, in honor of Gordon Murray. And I really want to welcome you all here today. It's your day. Uh, we're really excited. It's something we look forward to. We plan. And Elle has done a fantastic job with making sure we have a wonderful venue. Uh, this is the first time we've hosted it here. Uh, for any of you who've been to our caregiver retreat before, we used to be up at the Millbury Union, but um, I think this venue just sort of sets the stage for a really restorative day for us and, and to be with you and to connect. Um, we've wanted to foster resilience through not only knowledge, which you'll be hearing some fantastic talks um, from my colleague and co-director of the program, as well as Margareta, but also about self-compassion and how do we take care of ourselves as we journey with our patients with, um, with this disease. And so um, it's really such a pleasure to be able to host you here today. Um, I wanted to give you a little bit of a background uh, about the Gordon Murray Caregiver Program. Um, this is uh, Gordon Murray and his family. And uh, his wife, after he passed, uh, came to me and basically said, you know, what are we doing for the caregivers? And that struck me as something that I thought we were doing a great job in our clinic in general. I think we, we, we take care of our patients, our nurses are fabulous. But we didn't really have a dedicated program for caregivers. And we know that this disease is not only a disease of the patient, that the caregivers are a big part of what keeps them well. Um, and there's a lot of challenges. And so because of that, she charged me, and actually Margaret, I charged Margareta right away, <laughs> um, to really think about how we could develop such a program that is for you. And with um, her help of her friends and a lot of support, we were able to get the initial funding to start the program five and a half years ago. And now I'm really proud that we've been able to um, to have this program in perpetuity because the medical center has recognized the importance of what we do and so now they're supporting this actively. So we, it's something that we can do um, as part of, of the care we provide. This is just the norm for us, which is fantastic and is the norm only here at UCSF. I have to tell you this because I travel internationally to give talks about this program. It doesn't exist anywhere else in the country or in the world. So we're really, really proud to be able to do that. Um, and so when you think about um, you know, the trajectory of how we did this, it was really recognizing the need, acknowledging that this is an important thing that we need to do, um, actually implement the program, and that took a lot of planning and a lot of um, legwork to, to do this, as well as staff that we needed to hire and, and have um, specifically dedicated to this program. And now, basically every year, we provide services to more than 300 families um, we've expanded now to other hospitals. I'm really excited that we're going to be doing this in Marin General Hospital. So now we are going to be actually deploying what we do here to provide resources for the patients in Marin. Um, and we also go, both Margaret and myself and, and Dr. Taylor, we actually go to other institutions as well. We go to national uh, meetings and we talk about the importance of this and raising the awareness of the needs of our caregivers. Uh, so today, we really wanted to highlight not only the knowledge, as I mentioned, in terms of the effects of the brain tumor on the caregiver. We are all aware of what this disease can do to our patients, but it's how does this now affect the caregiver. Um, we want to have a couple of discussion groups because I think connection is something we've heard of that's so critical for our caregivers to, to feel a part of something and not feel so isolated. And then uh, taking care of yourself. And we're really excited to have um, Dr. Uh, 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 Reagan, who is here, to tell us about exercise for caregivers. We do have um, exercise uh, planned, a walk plan over lunch, pending what the weather's like. We're hoping it stays away, but um, we still have that tentatively on the books for, for something to do today to get outside and enjoy um, just, just being in nature. And then, of course, um, what we really want to be able to do is to empower you in terms of the self-compassion that's so important to carry you through um, what your, your journey with your loved ones. I, I really want to thank, again, Elle. Uh, she has done all of the organization that you see has happened today, the success of today. 
um, Margareta, of course, and uh, Rosemary and Jenny Taylor as my um, co-members of the neuro-oncology team. We couldn't do this without our family advisory council, and there are several of them who have um, volunteered their time today with us. You've met them at the registration desk. We have Diane Torkelson and uh, Margaret Barr. Um, we also have Ron Brown, who helped usher people down the hill if you needed to know where to go. And um, I think Suzanne Sims is um, going to be here in the afternoon. And we also want to thank L.B. Fishbach. She provided beautiful flowers that you see adorning the tables here and sort of lightening our day. Um, the invited speakers, of course, we have massage therapists for you, so I hope you signed up. If you didn't, go ahead and do that at the table. All the volunteers, and I have to do a shout out to the team up at UCSF. Uh, Sam is one of our research associates, so he's not actually seeing patients, but he certainly knows a lot of our patients, and it's wonderful that he's here. And Angela is one of our clinical coordinators um, who is also volunteering her time today. So I really want to send out an appreciation for that. Thank you very much. Thank you.